Garde Nature et Garde. This is the Garth Hillside Organic Garden and the Welsh name is Gard Natur y Garth. And the garden began in 2007 amid concerns about climate change, sustainability and the loss of our species from the natural world. And we didn't have any finance at the beginning, it was all completely voluntary. And we had just a handful of local people and we started and began creating our garden using permaculture principles. We're also an education and outreach project and we've got an informal relationship with a woof host just on the borders and we take their woofers one day a week and in return we teach them skills that they can take back to their farm and they've got a lot bigger growing area than we have, they've also got a polytunnel so it works really well. We've got some very local volunteers and that's how the garden began. We put posters up around the village and just hoped that people would turn up. And they did, a few turned up, thought we were bonkers, trying to make a garden on a hillside at a thousand feet. But we're still here seven years later and the project's grown considerably. Okay, can we have a look now at the project, please, Jude? Yeah. We'll walk, walk up the short path to the garden. This path was put in last year by our local council. Welcome to our garden. This is Harry's Gate. He was one of our first volunteers at a very young age of, I think he was 17 when he started here. And it's still going strong. As we learned, putting permaculture into practice was to look at what's already in the landscape. And as it was completely overgrown here with gorse, brambles and bracken, these two hawthorn trees were the only distinguishing features. So these were telling us that they needed to be our entrance. That's one of the things about permaculture, listening to the landscape and not rushing into just putting your ideas onto nature, waiting for nature to tell you what you should be doing. This is our covered notice board and information area and donation box. <laughs> One of the most important things. We don't get many donations in it though. Um, and it's also a dry place for people to hang their coats on a Thursday. Coats and bags and stuff. Why Thursday? Thursdays is our main volunteer day when anybody, anybody can come and volunteer for the, for the day. And that's how the garden works in principle. You come and help on a Thursday and you get to take vegetables home. What about the other six days in the week? You can also come on a Tuesday. It's a little bit different. We don't have um, the stove on or the shared lunch that we have on a Thursday. It's more um, to address the garden's needs on a, th on a Tuesday, whereas on a Thursday it's much more social. So what happens each day other than Tuesday and Thursday? How are the plants tended? Um, every day of the week, some one of us will come up here, usually myself. Um, we've just got through the busiest time of the year, April and May, which you need, we haven't got a polytunnel, so you need to be up here twice a day, morning and evenings. So it, it's, it's pretty full on growing food. 